Sabna Sanedin with us. Uh, she's a senior cybersecurity professional with exceptional skills and experience in mobile, cloud, and internet of things security. She is an Edison expert and is also responsible for addressing security of internet of products, which includes industrial control systems and home or automation of products. Shabna is also the president of Women in Cybersecurity India and is also leading this community. And she's striving to bid the gender gap that exists in cybersecurity with a mission to recruit, retrain, and also to promote women into the field of cybersecurity. She's also a core member of Women in Senior Electric and is also part of various communities and initiatives within and outside the organization. It's my honor, ma'am, to welcome you for our session today, uh, where she'll be give, giving a talk on decoding the cybersecurity career path. Ma'am, I ask you to take on the session. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And uh, I hope everybody is doing well and safe at this COVID situation. And uh, with the COVID situation, this is one of the good things that is happening because we all are now connecting virtually, right? So that's a great thing. And I can see a huge participation here for Shakti today. Yeah, so today uh, I'm going to have a kind of a discussion, uh, which is very different from what we have been talking about last year, last day. Uh, so we had a lot of sessions on uh, cybersecurity technical aspects uh, from starting from threat modeling, uh, CTFs, detailing, and uh, hacking, ethical hacking, a lot of subjects, right? Today, I'm going to have a talk on a career perspective, right? How we can have a successful career in cybersecurity. Because like any other career, cybersecurity, for, in order for you to have a successful career in cybersecurity, you need to know what all the things and the right pathway that you have to take in order to reach your career goal. Because we all just, we are, some, some people are not just, um, um, uh, I mean, working only for money, right? We have career aspirations. We have, we need to enjoy our job and we need to have a career goal. Then we'll, we will be having career growth. So um, I would like to share my screen and let me know if you all are able to see. So are you able to see my screen? Yes, ma'am, we are. Okay, so uh, as you can see, there's a big question, right? What, what? So what is cybersecurity? Anyway, I'm not going to cover this today because we all know what is cybersecurity. All that, all uh, attendees who are present today either will be a cybersecurity professional or a cybersecurity graduate or who is uh, willing to take a entry level or uh, trying to get into the cybersecurity. So we all know what is cybersecurity. What I'm going to have a discussion here today is why, why, as, as, why you should consider cybersecurity as a career option. So because if you see 25 years back uh, when everything, I mean, uh, we all were doing like, okay, uh, logging into the system with the password protection, uh, working around with the file, saving the files in some storage devices, uh, and then keeping it up. And where we were uh, hardly connecting to the internet, right? So that time, cybersecurity was not in spotlight. Right? Because this, the, in, even though the security was there, these all things were taken care of by the IT administrators and uh, who were uh, parallelly working on system administration, network administration and cybersecurity and taking care of the security of assets was an additional task or duty. But as, uh, and uh, when, it, when, uh, when we came along and when the organization started connecting to internet more. And now everything in this world is connected to internet, right? We are in a connected world. And when we started connecting more and more devices and um, computer and every assets in this um, organization to internet, 
the security issues and uh, the threat landscape has increased a lot. And that, that's why organization is in need of a lot of cybersecurity skill set and the professionals to address these things. So uh, with the past pandemic, that is also evident, right? Uh, most of the organization were forced to go into a more digital way. Not only organizations, right? Governments, non-government uh, uh, sectors, including the educational and the hospital firms, everybody had to move to the digital platform, right? Uh, and everything was uh, getting connected. And uh, with the pandemic, most of the organization was forced to go for an accelerated digital transformation. What I mean by accelerated digital transformation is they were tend to bring in a lot more working uh, from home culture where uh, most of the laptops and the end user devices started connecting remotely outside of the organization network. These things have brought in a lot and a lot of uh, security issues and the security threat landscape has increased tremendously. And with this, what happened is the industry is in need of a lot of talents. And there is a huge skill gap that exists in this industry, right? So this, according to a study, it has proven that the cybersecurity talent need has skyrocketed and it is going to be, uh, we are going to witness a lot of increase in the skill uh, demand, which is like, uh, which has increased from 2016 and to be increased for about 28% when it comes to 26. And there are more than 3.5 million unfilled cybersecurity jobs that exist globally today. So that is a point where we are. So that is the reason that we need to take, and uh, we need, why we need to consider cybersecurity as a career option. Not only this, I want to add on a little more detailing into this, why we have to choose a cybersecurity career because I have been in this industry for more than nine years. And uh, trust me, this is a very exciting and a career opportunity, I mean, a career with a lot of opportunities, right? It's, a, it's vivacious, it's vivid. And if you would like to, um, if you would like to uh, work in one technology, for example, if you are very passionate about working in the latest technologies like cloud, definitely you have a scope to get into a cybersecurity job, which is related to cloud, taking care of the cloud security. And if you are somebody who would like to hack into the system and find out the vulnerabilities, yes, definitely that's a career. You have a career option there as well. And a lot and lot of career option and the technologies that you can work in cybersecurity. And in addition to that, recent studies has proven that Cybersecurity is one of the most satisfying career which is rated globally. So more than 76% of the uh, professionals has stated that their job is fully satisfying in terms of uh, the uh, career opportunities and as well as in terms of uh, the salary, right? So, Yes, definitely, cybersecurity career is a very promising career. But on the other hand, what we are seeing today is, okay, we all know that cybersecurity is a very exciting career and we have a lot of graduates, not only graduates, we have a lot of lateral entries, right? Who, who are wishing to, uh, who are willing to come into this industry and um, be part of this uh, cybersecurity and want to pursue their career. But on the other hand, we have a lot of skills gap, uh, skill gap. And uh, the fact is that the, uh, I mean, the recruiters are finding it really, really hard to recruit the right talent for their open cybersecurity position. So this is completely contradicting. We have a bunch of people who want to get into this industry, who is willing to get into the industry. And on the other hand, industry is facing a lot of, lot of career, I mean, skill gap, and they are trying it, uh, finding it very difficult to recruit people. So 
it all comes back uh, to the um, fact that uh, career aspirants are not aware of how to start a career in cybersecurity how to pursue their career in cybersecurity and how to be successful in careers uh, in cybersecurity so uh, i get a lot of questions every every day in in my linkedin and uh, when I, in every uh, most of the time in my career somebody comes to me um, maybe a fresher or a, a, a lateral entry who would like to get into this industry comes to me and ask okay how can i get into cyber security how should i start my career what should i uh, do so uh, it all comes back to the uh, concept right you need to decide uh, what role that you need to take in career uh, in cyber security because as i said cyber security unlike other uh, career it is very vivacious right so um uh, the i mean you have a lot of lot of technologies that you can work you can work as a forensic analyst you can work as a, work as a, a penetration testing and a lot and lot of options are there so you can't have a hands on everything right uh, go i mean uh, learn something on the ethical hacking okay you leave it there and then you move to uh, something into the forensics and you leave it there no that's not the right approach you need to understand what you are passionate about and uh, analyze your uh, inner potential and analytical skill and then you decide take a call right so before that you need to understand what are the entry level jobs that is there in cyber security as of today so uh, some of the entry level so i'm um, i mean if i talk uh, start talking about the entry level um, jobs here uh, it will take a lot of time because there are more than 25 to um, 30 entry level uh, roles in cyber security so i'm today i'm going to specify on uh, some of them uh, and uh, so let's see what are those so uh, risk and compliance auditors this is some of the entry level job that you can always consider so this is all about um, uh, getting into the uh, risk and compliance side and making sure that we have everything, uh, every security standards in place and the company is following a security policies, doing a risk assessment to understand the cyber threats and risk and uh, analyzing the risk appetite for an organization. Another option is a getting into cyber forensics. So cyber forensics is all about uh, it is all about um, getting into a job where uh, you would like to understand uh, when a cyber threat happen, happens or when a cyber incident happens, you will be investigating in and out what went wrong, where it went wrong. So you will be uh, doing a root cause analysis, collecting the evidences, right, and uh, writing a technical document on the entire investigation so you are if you are kind of a Sherlock Holmes right you you uh, love to um, be a detective uh, this is something some career you can always think about and there is something called incident uh, analyst so we have a uh, lot of um, uh, um, career opportunities in incident analysts uh, um, when it comes to uh, cyber threat monitoring and incidents handling. So we will be uh, checking, um, I mean, on time, on, uh, we will be actively uh, uh, alert and we'll be monitoring the entire organization network for a attack and then we will be responding accordingly. So this all comes to security operations center uh, analysts. And uh, there is something called penetration testing uh, that you all might be knowing because that's how where ethical hacking and penetration testing come hands in hand, both are the same. Where you love to hack into the system, understand the vulnerabilities and then uh, steal the data and uh, not the term steal but you 
create a POC and uh, say that, hey, the system is not um, uh, secure enough and these are the vulnerabilities and these are the things that it can be hacked. So if you really love ethical hacking, this is a, a job opportunity. And vulnerability assessment. So we do have a lot of vulnerability assessment uh, tools in market, right? We have Nessus, we have a lot of other uh, tools provided by IBM and uh, HP for the, uh, HP and all those uh, companies. So what we do is we understand and analyze the vulnerability of entire system or a network and uh, generate the report and analyze it in order to mitigate the high and medium risk. There is some other, uh, this, this is one another uh, um, career option that you can always consider in cybersecurity as a source code review. If you are very good at uh, coding and you know that how code works in and out, and if you put some more efforts on understanding the security of the code, it is very much, very much needed in the organization because that's where we start, right? Uh, having a, a good and secure code in order to have one level of defense when it comes, when, when it comes to um, developing a product. So, and uh, this is one uh, system administrator is one of the, option that you can always thinking if you don't get a chance to get into the cyber security specific roles right because sister administrator uh, is something we we always work in with the patching the systems and understanding this whether the system is in compliant with the organization policy where security policies will also come into picture like um, uh, keeping in the uh, right privileges for the users and maintaining the AD group. And when it comes to network administrating, uh, administration, uh, configuring the network properly and securely. So if you start a career as a system administrator, it will be very easy for you to navigate to the other roles in cybersecurity. So how to get started, right? So the secret of getting uh, ahead is always getting started and as early as possible. As I mentioned, uh, cybersecurity career is all about uh, having a hands-on experience. So theoretical knowledge definitely will help you, but it is different from other careers because we have to face with the real-time scenario right understanding the uh, threats which is there out there it's already there because attackers are working uh, more than us uh, 24 by 7 getting into uh, different systems and stealing data so we are in car we are uh, there to encounter with the real-time scenario so we don't have uh, it's i mean the theoretical knowledge is not enough so gets your hands on as early as possible so if i mean as uh, i would like to have a discussion on how a student or uh, as you uh, graduate your 12th standard and how you can, if you are willing to start a career in cybersecurity, how you can get started. So get a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity because right now we have a lot of colleges out there who is giving dedicated bachelor's degree on cybersecurity or else start with the uh, computer science basic degree in um, uh, engineering, right? And then go for a master's in cybersecurity. Pick up these specialized uh, areas where you want to master. For example, you can go for a cryptography or a forensics and a lot and lot of courses are there. So as I said, you have to decide what is uh, interesting for you and then you have to pick the right uh, course for you. And once you complete your degree, right, go for advanced courses because there are, as I say, cybersecurity is ever evolving. So you need to be updated with the industry. So sometimes the degree is not sufficient enough. So there are a lot of online as well as classroom advanced courses on various technologies and various uh, cybersecurity aspects. So take an advanced course. And certification, definitely, if you don't have an experience in cybersecurity, this is one of the must have. So analyze your uh, potential area, which entry level or which role you want to take. For example, when I said you want to be, uh, if you want to be a security audit and uh, compliance, or you want to get into some roles within the governance, 
some certifications uh, provided by uh, ISACA, like CISA, Certified Information Security Auditor, a lot of certifications are there. So find out the right certification, which will help you to get into the right entry level role that you are targeting for. And try to get an internship program, right? Because we all know the fact that it is very difficult to get into this industry, right? So one of the easiest way uh, to have an hands on experience is try for internship or else you can always try for if you have a final project in your um, uh, degree, pick something which is related to cybersecurity, should need some hands on experience. And there you are and you will get into the job. But so you got your job, then what is next? That is a question, right? So you have to decide, okay, you go to your job and you are happy and then that's, that's, that's where your story ends. No, it should not be. You should always have a passion to grow within the cybersecurity, right? So you have to understand what are the paths that you can take when you enter into a cybersecurity job. So here are some of the technical, I mean, the path that you can always choose in cybersecurity. And there's a technical path, but another one is management path and another one is leadership path. So technical path is all about if you really, really uh, interested in to be a technical guy, core into doing coding or building security solutions and, um, uh, and uh, tools, then this is the right career path for you. And uh, you can start as a security analyst, become a security consultant, then you can become a security advisor and eventually you can become the chief security architect for the organization where you will be uh, the tech, at most technical expert whom everybody will come and take a technical opinion and advice from you. Another uh, career path is purely into the management where you don't have need to have a technical depth in uh, all the technology. You should have a, a, a broad uh, knowledge on the, all the aspects of cybersecurity and take care that, uh, uh, I mean, various uh, sectors falls under this, uh, taking care of the security training and awareness program within these organizations and having third party risk management. Uh, so um, this is one of the main focus area, most of the organization deal with. So how we can uh, mitigate the risk and handle the risk. And uh, definitely when we are creating a, a security product, we need a project management. So you can always consider this as one of the other career path. Then comes the leadership. So uh, the, you might be confused what is uh, management and what is leadership. So leadership is something which is like, which is very critical for the success of the business. So you might have uh, heard the term CISO, right? Chief Information Security Officer. So he is the leader of the organization and make sure that the company has a world-class security in place. And he will be the sole responsibility of taking care of the entire cybersecurity of the organization. So there is a leadership role that is already there, always there in organization. CISOs, directors, head of information security, so those are the one of the um, uh, career path you can always choose for. And uh, definitely you can't be a CISO all of a sudden, right? You need to have understand what are the entry, mid-level and advanced level uh, career options. So this is a nice um, uh, career map uh, for us information security. As I said, uh, we can always start our career as a security analyst in various domains, right? Risk, incidents management, BCP, privacy, forensics. And then we have a lot of uh, uh, mid-level uh, career opportunities, right? You being a specialist and then you, move, you can be a team lead. And if you wish you want to take a management career path, you can go and become a manager for each, uh, any, any domain or any vertical. And then you can eventually become a CISO. And uh, these are the, some of the skills because uh, you know the, what is the career paths and what are the entry levels, how much experience I, knew I should have uh, to take the another step. But definitely you should have 
some of the soft skills and some of the other skills to excel in this career, right? So those are communication skills, teamwork, and risk. And as you should have a, a, a th thought process of like, okay, what can be the risk? So whenever you encounter anything, you have to always think about, okay, if this is the thing, then what can be the risk, security or risk that can happen? So you should have that thought process every time and uh, definitely uh, networking skills and problem solving and you should understand the security principles and standards so no matter by which role you are working it is always better if you know the security principles and various industry standards Abna, so uh, sorry to interrupt you we are running a bit out of time so it would be nice yeah. if you can yeah. sure Thank you. sure so these are some of the career boosters you should always consider right so continuous learning, keep learning, and you should have a plan about your career, right? You should have, uh, you, you are in point A, so what it takes for me to reach point B. And always find a mentor, right? So somebody who guides you. And you spend time, some time in your personal branding, build, in, build your LinkedIn profile, Twitter profile, and get into the network. And networking is very important because you have to uh, this really helps you to uh, develop professionally and as well as in career. So uh, what you can do in getting your next career, next role is leverage your network and always look out for internal opportunity within the organization. So uh, that's it uh, from my side. So there's nothing uh, like there's a I mean, right career path or a wrong career path. All it takes is your passion and aware that these are the career roles and plan accordingly. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for explaining to us so thoroughly on how to start a career in cybersecurity and also the different roles and the career options available in cybersecurity. And as you said, the secret of getting ahead is just getting started as soon as possible. Uh, so in here, in Shaktikon, we have CTFs, which is a great way to get hands-on knowledge. And in Shaktikon especially, we have women only CTF encouraging more women to take part and to get their skills up. And also, you said about the certifications after your bachelor's. And uh, in Amrita, we have Amrita MTech program as well as Amrita AHEAD which is an online cybersecurity certification program from which we can increase your skills to a level which can make you direct entry into our workforce. And also, ma'am, thank you so much for showing us a blueprint of how to get from a college to a workplace and how to go about with it. Thank you so much, ma'am, uh, for such an insightful session. Thank you. And we, Shaktikar, as a team, is grateful to have you and we hope that you can join us again in future events also. Thank you, ma'am. Sure. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Shabna. And thank you, Aditya, for hosting the morning session.